perfect for low mounted or rear mounted turbos or diff and gearbox coolers. These electric scavenge pumps are perfect for your next project. Hey guys, Pat from Aeroflow Performance. Today I'm gonna to introduce you to a new scavenge pump uh, that we've introduced to our range. So these are basically an electric oil pump uh, and they're going to draw through uh, oil from a low gravity situation. So uh, basically something like a turbocharger, for example, that's mounted quite low and doesn't have gravity to drain the oil away. Or even a differential or gearbox cooler uh, that doesn't have an internal pump, so a manual transmission. Doesn't have an, an oil pump to move the, the fluid around inside of the transmission. Neither does a differential. So if you're running a cooler on either of those products, you need to get the oil out and then back in. And that's where this scavenge pump comes into, comes into play. Now, we've spoken uh, previously when it comes to turbochargers, how important it is for the oil drain to continually flow in a downward direction uh, running with gravity. Once the oil pressure goes into the top of the turbocharger and it goes through the core, on the other side there's very little pressure uh, that's going to get that oil out of the bottom of the core and back into the sump of the engine or the oil pan or wherever it is that you're returning your oil. So when you've got a low mounted turbocharger that's down say around the same level as the sump like near gearboxes which is common on uh, a lot of V8 models or even a rear mounted turbocharger when it's at the back of the vehicle, there's no way that the engine oil pressure that's feeding the, feeding the turbocharger is going to be able to push all that oil back to the sump at the front. So we put the scavenge pump in line with the, uh, with the turbocharger or feeding off a little small uh, intermediate sump, I guess you would say, or an interim sump. Uh, where the oil is going to collect underneath and then it's going to basically be pulled through uh, this pump and then returned back to the sump. So it's very important to keep the flow because if the oil sits around and stagnates underneath the core, it's going to fill that core and all of a sudden you're going to have smoke pouring out the front and oil out the, fr out the front, smoke out the back uh, and you're going to think you've blown up your turbo but it's just because you haven't drained the oil away from it well enough. Uh, these are a very simple setup. They're, uh, they're a spur drive or, or a gear drive uh, inside of it. They are a little noisy. Um, this is not for you know, mounting on a, a Rolls Royce that you're gonna you know, cruise around luxuriously in. It's definitely a, you know, a race car or a high performance application. So a couple of features or a couple of specs on the pump. Uh, effectively, it's a 12 volt pump. Um, so it's gonna run on most automotive applications. Uh, it flows eight liters per minute or two gallons. Um, uh, two gallons per minute, I should say, uh, on that. It has a current draw of 10 amps. Um, all of the specs are on the front here, so it makes my job really easy. Uh, it has NPT style screw-in fittings on the top. Now, it is a spur pump or a gear pump, um, so there is some noise and vibration uh, that comes with these pumps, the operation of them. Now, you'll see on the back of the pump that we have this bracket here. On the bracket are these rubber mounts, these rubber feet. We do advise that you fit these. If you don't use some sort of rubber mount or an insulating mount with this pump, the vibration that can be caused uh, from the operation of the spur gears uh, can lead to excessive wear on the pump. So that's why those rubber feet are there. We do require it to be insulated rather than solid mounted. So just keep that in mind when you're, when you're running it. The pump only flows one way as well. We have a flow direction sticker on the top there, just so you know that it's gonna come in this way and then out the other. Uh, it's an NPT style thread, uh, which you just basically thread your fitting in, whatever it might be, whether it's a conversion to a AN or if it's a barb. Uh, there isn't an excessive amount of pressure when it comes to the outlet. So most applications that are suitable for the fluid that you're running through here uh, is fine. Um, we've tested this pump uh, with a 70 weight oil at room temperature. So that's basically top fuel oil uh, at around 25 degrees. 
we'd be happy with this running anything from five weight oil all the way through to uh, a diff oil at operating temperature. So 140 weight, no problem, as long as it's at temperature. If you're cranking this flat out and you've got dead cold gear oil, it will lead to excessive wear in the pump uh, and reduced service life. So it's not gonna kill it immediately, um, but it's gonna reduce the life uh, that you'll have this pump for. So like everything, you know, a little bit of common sense, treat it with some mechanical sympathy uh, and it'll go a long way to helping you with your application. All right guys, now you know all about these scavenge pumps. If you do have any other further questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment or shoot us a message or even send us an email, sales at aeroflowperformance.com. Uh, will help you out with your application. But you can see these at your local distributor, a quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.